Welcome to the Prep Beat Championship Edition. I'm Thomas Lawrence. He's TJ Holmes. We're talking about number one West Valley hosting number three CV, the D2 championship game. Not only a championship game, but a rivalry game. You know, these kids have not only been playing against each other in high school, but they've been looking across the line of scrimmage at each other since they were 10 years old, you know. And CV, a team who's coming in, and their offense is just rolling right now. 426 rushing yards and an upset win at number two Sutter last week. TJ, and you know, a great offense, but heading in to face a West Valley defense that's just been incredible this year. And I know you saw them in the semifinals last week. Yeah, yeah they, they smothered Orland for pretty much that most of that game. This defense we kind of talked about, and the best word that we come up with is this Eagles defense has been unmerciful. You know, they've only allowed three offensive touchdowns in the last six games, and one of those being a last-second touchdown last week in the semis to Orland, so it could really only be two. They're just dominant, and they're not doing it like they have been like last year with turnovers. They've just been a smothering, stifling defense, a run-stopping defense this year. They're forcing teams to punt to give their offense a lot of opportunities. Absolutely. You know, two of those guys on that defense who are key on both sides of the ball, linebacker Brady Castleman, also the fullback, Austin Clark, a safety, and their featured running back. And, you know, Clark, you saw last week, just became West Valley's first ever 2,000-yard rusher in a season. Uh, and the thing is that when West Valley has beaten CB in the playoffs last year by a field goal by 40 earlier this year in the Valley Bowl, it's Ben Clark and Castleman, their studs, who have really taken it to CB. And, you know, with CB and West Valley, these teams know each other so well there's really no secrets at this point yeah there really isn't you know a lot of a lot of players on both of these sidelines return from last year's team so this could be the fourth time that they're playing each other in the last two years we already talked about how, how hard it is to win uh, to, to beat one, the same team twice in a season West Valley's trying to do that this year and it would actually be three in a row since CB won the Valley Bowl last year um, that, that's a lot of familiarity. These coaching staffs have been around a long time. They know each other. They know each other's tendencies. They text each other. They kind of they kind of give each other little little punches here and there. But it's all playful fun in the heart of competition. Um, this is this is going to be interesting because uh, Central Valley they they like to run the up tempo offense. West Valley's defense has been dominant against the run. So like I said, there's a lot of familiarity. It just seems like that there's going to be a lot. Of, there's going to be a big chess match to me. You know, CV's defense is one that's really come into its own down the stretch. And th their high point of struggling was when they gave up those 53 points to West Valley in the Valley Bowl. Since then, under their second-year coordinator, Matt Disk, you know, they've really focused on the basics. They've stuck with a four-man front. You know, after that West Valley game, they responded by coming out and shutting out Corning. Uh, you know, doing that against those other teams is one thing. Doing it against West Valley is another this time of year. Well, we've broken down the offense and the defense. We know how much we've both seen these two teams quite a few times this year. Who do you got? Who's winning the Division II championship? You know, it's tough to say. Uh, covering football here a couple of years now, CB West Valley is the one that keeps me off nights, man. You know, it's, it's very difficult no matter the stage, no matter where it's being played. But in this one, CB's a great underdog. West Valley seems like the team of destiny, though. You know, that defense is unmoving. The running game is relentless. They're at home. It's, it's just going to happen. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you. West Valley's my pick in this one, but I don't think it's going to be a blowout like last time. I think it's going to be a lot closer. Like I said, that familiarity factor, that's a major, major deal in my mind. Uh, a key for CB, though, if they want to have a chance in this, is they have to get off to a smooth start. With the way that offense goes, that they just they, they rely on so much rhythm to get moving, to get to get some reps, to get that ball snapped so quickly that they get a turnover or if they get stalled early, that they might not have a lot of opportunities later on down the road if, if uh, West Valley gets a lead. And CB's going to have to score a lot of points to win this game. Absolutely, and thanks for joining us as always. Thanks for joining us all season. Uh, you know, on Saturday night, Championship Saturday, head to PrepBeat.com for everything high school football.